Hi, very good morning to everybody. Um, I'm Mr. Tang from Ace Chorus. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about um, how I motivate students and help them to do better in the exam. So, uh, there's this little trick that I use, which is uh, used by a lot of video games to help to motivate people to continue to play video games. In fact, this little trick that I'm using is so useful. Uh, it's so powerful that uh, if you were to use it properly and correctly and accurately, uh, students might get addicted to doing homework and exams. Okay, what is this little trick that I'm using? It's called the over compliment. Okay, or exaggerated uh, congratulating students for doing well in certain subjects you see now before i go into the techniques and the tactics as to exactly how this works there are two things that you must first understand okay the first thing is what i call the upward spiral and the downward spiral so what exactly is an upward spiral well you see an upward spiral is a bit like climbing stairs okay so this is a spiral staircase okay you see that so the higher you climb, the more you see, right? And but at the same time, you can also go all the way down. You know, it's very easy to go all the way down. So you see that. So the problem with most students is that they are perpetually on a downward spiral. Why? Because society expects them to be getting A1 and most of them are not getting A1. So when you're not getting A1, you are already not attaining the thing that um, is required. So what happens? You know, the parents, they say that you know, you're not doing good enough. The teachers say that you're not going, doing good enough. Your friends say that you're not doing good enough. So you are on that downward spiral and that's what happens to most of them so what i like to do most of the time is to change that you know change the downward spiral into an upward spiral okay so once in a while they feel like a winner you know so when they feel like they are winning uh they will try to do more questions and then when they do more questions they actually get better at it and then when they get better at it they feel that they are good at that thing and then they will do more and when they do more they really do get better at it okay so this is called the upward spiral So this idea is not exactly new because uh, people who make video games um, use it as well. Uh, what do they do? They give you over compliment for simple things like tapping, you know, on the screen. They give you rewards, they give you coins and all that stuff. All this is just to encourage you to play your computer games. Alright, so why? Because you go on this upward spiral, you keep thinking that you're pretty good at it. But actually what you do, you know, you didn't do much, you just press buttons you know but it really motivates the people to keep playing yep okay so i got like a bit of a disclaimer though um well i have done this on a lot of students especially those who don't do well so i've done this i've got this particular student who um has been failing a lot of exams and uh, i gave him a little bit of compliment and then i told him that hey you're doing pretty all right you know even though you failed but then you got this 40 marks right you know this 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 so eventually what happened was that he did pretty well after that okay and then he started passing and then he started doing all his work you know he really did everything uh all his homework all his um all his uh, all the exercises that i asked him to do and then what happened was that he became arrogant he, he became overly confident okay and slightly cocky you know so that's where we have to deploy a little bit of Humility. So what do we mean by humility? Okay, so humility would be just making sure that Okay, and then I have to tell him that you got to do your work Okay, because uh, what got you there in the first place is nothing but hard work Okay, and then if you don't do it 
again, you know, everything is going to go down the drain. Okay, so I know what a lot of you are thinking right now. Okay, so what if my child has not done well, you know, for the past and say, what am I going to do? What if my child failed, you know? Uh, what if you got only like 30 marks or 40 marks? Am I still going to do the same thing and pretend that he's fine? No, what we do is we look at what he has done well. For example, he could have scored, he or she could have scored 40 marks. So there are 40 marks worth of stuff that he has done well. Focus on the 40 marks worth of stuff that he's done well and complement on that, work on the good stuff, improve from there, okay? Work on the good stuff and improve from there. Tell him that, yeah, you didn't do well for the season, but work on the good thing. Continue to work on the good thing. Give him exaggerated, exaggerated compliment on the stuff that has done well. Okay, continue to do the good stuff and then, uh, you know, inch into the things that he hasn't done well. Okay, because what I can tell you is if you keep focusing on the 60 months that he didn't do well, uh, it's going to go on a downward spiral. Okay, so let's make it an upward spiral for all of our children. Thank you.